I'm at the Chinese Commercial Vehicle Show in Wuhan. I wanted to see how far China has gone in electric vans and trucks, to see what we can expect uh, to see from, from the Chinese manufacturers in Europe anytime soon. So here's a very small update. To sum up the exhibition, I went to Dongfeng, which is one of the local truck manufacturers here in Wuhan which, by the way, is also one of the automotive centers in China. And this sums it up quite well with the EVs. They simply put the battery pack at the rear of the cabin. And the chassis in, on the trucks in China, they are already quite long, about eight, eight and a half meters. So they didn't have to extend the chassis by putting the battery packs here. Most of the trucks are having swappable batteries, which is really convenient, of course, that we're placing the batteries here at the back of the cabin, you can easily move them up and swap them. You can see an example of this in, in the description below, one of the other video. But it's quite interesting also that uh, it's not only about electric trucks, all of it. It's also about uh, LNG and they simply place the LED in the same position at the back of the uh, cabin. Uh, it looks a bit uh, peculiar, but uh, that's the way they do it on all the trucks. And there are also some hydrogen trucks here. And they have also placed the hydrogen uh, at the back of the truck. So this sums it up uh, quite well. Quite a lot of uh, electric trucks on the exhibition. Almost all of them placed in the same position at the back of the cabin and swappable, which is very interesting. I'm not sure this model will take off in, in Europe uh, anytime soon, but uh, it looks like they have been able to do some kind of unified design in China. And by the way, uh, they all use uh, LFP batteries because of the less risk of a fire hazard. Uh, so that is mandatory when you do uh, commercial vehicles uh, in China.